everybody, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how I do a rosebud design on this green glass bottle. I will be using 2A Magic brushes, a number 6 and a number 8. These are both flat brushes. The paint I'm using today is magenta, wicker white, berry wine, moon yellow, Thicket and classic green and fresh foliage. All of these are folk art paints, a combination of, of enamel and multi surface. And before you leave, if you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And hit the share button underneath the video and share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would appreciate this. My goal in doing videos is to provide very simple designs that anybody can do to encourage those who want to be creative to feel comfortable to sit down and give it a try. So if you're doing my videos and you think, gosh, this is really simple, and you're more advanced, you know, that's fun. You can use my my ideas, you know, as inspiration and then put your level of painting skill into it. However you want to do it, that's fine. But just so that you know that they're intentionally easy for the beginner painter. Alright, so I'm gonna double load my brush. I'm using the number eight. I will be Starting off with the wicker white and the magenta. Again, just doing very simple, 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 simple design. I am going to start up here. And I wanted to make sure that I get very good coverage. Because that is essential when you're painting on glass. To make sure that the coverage is on there nicely so that your design will be more durable. Definitely makes a difference. Alright, so I'm just going to randomly place these. Some are going to be bigger than others as far as the buds go. And just keeping it simple. And I'm going to just keep, keep moving down the bottle here. I am only going to do the front of the bottle for you today. If I were doing this to sell, I would do the entire bottle all the way around. Just that way if you put a light in it, it looks very nice. And you can sit in any direction when you do it that way. Before you start painting on glass, make sure you do wash it with soap and water. That you then go over it with rubbing alcohol to make sure that you've gotten all the oils, grease and grime, anything that might be left over from when you were washing it or if you've you know, been touching it, that kind of thing. Very important. Alright. So we got that and I apologize my air conditioner was running. Alright, so now I'm going to go into the greens. I am doing the classic green, the fresh foliage to start off with. I will be coming down, creating a just a stem vine kind of deal. If you don't like doing this part, you can just actually continue on with your design and just put leaves around it. You don't have to add this part in. The way I'm doing this design, I'm doing wet on wet. So it's possible that I will pull in some of the paint from the design that I just painted. And in doing so, if you don't like that kind of a look, then you can either give it some drying time or Put, uh, 
going to do a heat gun, hair dryer, something like that to um, add some drying to it before you paint the next step. But I don't mind it, so... And I just want to kind of be just a little bit looser with it. I kind of like, you know, when there's a little bit of opening and it's a little looser looking. But if you want just to put one little thing around it, you know, as far as leaves go, that's fine. However you want to do it. And then I'm just going to pull like that. Alright, so here we go. And then, just hope I'm getting this on here, sorry. I'm trying to be cautious here. All right, and then I'm going to start with just adding in some random leaves, and I'm just doing these real simple, real simple one-stroke leaves. And you can, if you want, to pull little, little veins or little stems into them, you can. You can rotate the colors, just keep it simple. And I'm all about being easy because I want people to not be afraid. And you got to keep in mind, too, when you're dealing with glass, it's so easy to do. And if you make a mistake or you don't like it, guess what? Just wash it off. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Very simple. Like I said, sometimes I like to put little stems in them, little veins, and then sometimes it doesn't really matter. I don't really care either way. And then what you can do is just do some little pulls throughout, and. Like that, and then just come up. Sorry, I hit my brush on there. Now I'm going to go into the darker color, and I think what I'm going to do because I was trying to just do I don't want it to be too thin, so I was trying to just do it as just one color. But I think I'm going to, I'm putting in the thicket and the classic green into this to it's going to be darker looking. But this way, it's a little bit more durable because I've got another color mixed in with it. So it, it's not going to be too thin because I, I really get concerned about that. I don't want it to be a thin, you know, when you're doing it on paper or something like that, it's okay, you know, to, to do in some like shadow leaves. But when you're doing this, I don't want it to come off. And that's what I'm afraid of. If I get it, the paint too thin, it will. Now a lot of people ask, I tend to coat my, my glass with just the Mod Podge dishwasher safe after I've baked them. But you don't have to with this paint. It's not, not not required to add any kind of spray. I would never spray it. I'm not a big spray person. Uh, and you know, when I try to when I do the brush on of the of the Mod Podge, you know, I try to stick with being on on my design as much as possible or at least a good coating all the way around you know so that it's not 
not real noticeable because you, you will see see some of the paint or not the paint but the Mod Podge if that makes sense um, let's see here let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is just touch this just a little bit into the white and I'm going to just come through and add strokes of white just periodically here and you don't have to do this part if you don't like it I'm just doing it to kind of accent it a little bit oops put that wrong color in there just maybe to throw a little bit of interest in it it doesn't have to completely cover the leaves but I think when you when you come back and look at it you'll understand it just draws your eye to it and I don't know what made me think of doing this it's not something I typically do all the time but I like it definitely and you could do it with a different color even it doesn't have to be this color or white or whatnot. Let's see here. Whoops. Okay. Now the last thing I'm going to do is turn my brush, and I'm going to come over here and dip into my my moon yellow, and I'm just going to do some tapping into the paint. And honestly, it doesn't have to even be little dots. It can be, or you can just do it as, you know, you're just hitting it and just putting in some color sporadically throughout the design. If that makes sense. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect dots by any means. And you just come down like that. If you don't like this part, you can leave it out. If you want to use a different color, you can do that too. It's almost kind of like you're adding a maybe another type of flower into it just to give it some color. Or we're just doing it with dots instead. All right, and that's it. Pretty easy. All right, I hope you like this. If you do, once again, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And make sure you share this on your social network by hitting that share button underneath the video, and I'll give you the options of where you want to share it. Simple as that. All right, hope you like it. Thanks again so much for stopping by my channel. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.